We'll go next to West Virginia and head coach Bob Huggins. Bob, are you with us? Yes, I am. Bob, thanks for joining us uh, again. We'll open it up now for questions for West Virginia head coach Bob Huggins. You have a question from Jeff Cole, West Virginia Illustrated. Hey, Coach, we were up at the uh, Pittsburgh Summer League last night and talking to some of the guys who were there, and I was just curious, you guys as a staff, I mean, what do you hope that they get out of this opportunity to you know, be on a team and actually face some college competition during the summer? Jeff, I think it's just an opportunity for them to, uh, you know, you probably get the same guys every day all summer, and I think it just gives them an opportunity to go out and, of course, Pitts players are there and Duquesne's, Robert Moore, so it just gives them opportunity to play against different guys with maybe different skill sets. Yeah, and how much do you rely at this point in time I mean, when you have such a young team and inexperienced, you, know, you got a guy like Terry Henderson and, and Aaron Harris who go out there and can lead. I mean, how much do you rely on them to kind of, I guess, rally the troops this time of year? Well, I think the best part is they want to. Hmm. You know, I think both of those guys are guys that uh, understood we, we lacked a little veteran leadership a year ago and, and uh, playing all the minutes that both of those guys played last year. They both feel like uh, they're ready and willing and capable to lead. All right, thanks, Coach. Mm-hmm. Your next question comes from Justin Jackson, Dominion Post. Oh, Coach, how are you doing? Good, Justin. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, uh, uh, kind of going off uh, Aaron Harris here, uh, looking like uh, you know he's taking some steps to uh, maybe move over and play some point guard. I'm just kind of wondering, uh, how does that process uh, coming along? You know, how did it get started? Uh, you know, is he uh, going to be uh, capable at the point guard position? You know, how do you see uh, you know utilizing him uh, at different spots? Well, we recruited him as a combo, uh, but you know, as you know, we had a couple guys that were primarily point guards a year ago, so we didn't play him all that much there, but I think he's embraced it. Um, I think he gives us, you know, another guy on the floor can score. You know, I think it's great to have a guy uh, on the point who can score, and, and I think, obviously, Aaron can do that. And he gives you a link, you know, from a defensive standpoint, too. He gives you length and, and athleticism at that position. And uh, one other question, uh, just kind of wondering, obviously, with the second uh, semester of summer school coming up, uh, just kind of wondering uh, who all uh, more of the incoming players do you expect to, to enroll and then, and, uh, and then throughout the rest of the summer, too? Uh, you expect to have everyone uh, come in this year? Yeah, yeah, we do. I don't know that it's going to be the start of uh, this next session because we've got, uh, you know, many sessions, and it, a lot of it depends on particularly with the, the junior college guys, what classes they need, right. what classes will go towards their major and so forth. So. Okay. Your next question comes from Todd Lebo, Sports Radio 810. Hey, Coach, you're in, a year into being in the league now, and you went through a whole year of the different travel and some scheduling type things. What, what did you learn from that, and is there anything that you guys will do differently this year, uh, having gone through the year already? Well, it was a big learning experience. Um, I think from trying to figure out the best way for travel, and and I know the league is is uh, uh, on board with trying to help us uh, with with some of the travel issues that we have. It's just it's it's a it was a different style of league uh, than the one we came from, and and I think obviously with that the officiating was different, and I think a year in and knowing a little bit better what to expect, hopefully we'll be a whole lot better equipped to be able to, to deal with those things. Certainly a whole lot better than what we did a year ago. Your next question comes from Stephen Hawkins, Associated Press. Bob, looking at players that could have an impact on um, new players that could have an impact in the league, I'm sure everybody knows about Andrew Wiggins. I, I know he's playing for Kansas, but what impression did you have of him? What do you think kind of impact did he have on a league a kid like that? Well, he's, I mean, he brings so much athleticism, I think, to any place he plays. I mean, he is a he is a world class athlete, and I think a you know a guy who probably is more college ready in a lot of regards. You know, having uh, been at Huntington Prep for two years and and really not at home, and you know, kind of that's a little bit more of a kind of a it's like a college atmosphere from a social standpoint. But I mean, athletically, I mean, he's when you're everybody says you're the best player in the country, you're obviously you're pretty good. 
and, and you mentioned obviously a minute ago adjusting to a new league and all that. I mean, how much do you, I mean? How much did your team do you think learn though adjusting to that in the last year? And not only yourself, but your players and young teams learning to adjust. Well, I think a great deal. Uh, you know, I think I think the things that the style that, that we had in the Big East was it, it was a whole lot different style. Uh, this is this is more a league where they spread you more more a penetrating pitch league. I think uh, I think the Big East had classical uh, five men, uh, where you know I think by and large in in the Big Twelve uh, people played smaller. It was more of a skill league. Thanks, Bob. Mm-hmm. Your next question comes from Chuck McGill. Yeah, kind of following up the Wiggins question, uh, you've seen DeAndre Kane the last couple of years. What kind of impact do you think he could have in this league? Is he eligible right away? Yeah, if he's eligible, if he's ready. To I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know if he graduated and, and left or he it was a transfer and sit out of here. I don't. Well, he's a good player. I mean, obviously, he's a good player. He's a he's got great size uh, to play on the perimeter, and he's he's very very good at attacking the rim. I mean, I think he he's probably as 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 good a guy as uh, there's going to be in our league at, at attacking the rim with size and and athleticism. Thanks. Any additional questions for West Virginia head coach Bob Huggins? Yes, you have an additional question from Window Barnhouse, Big12Sports.com. Bob, obviously the coaching in this league is going to be pretty salty with uh, six guys having taken teams to the Final Four. As a coach, does that uh, does that make it more interesting to to be going? You know, when you're going up against a bunch of guys that you know are all really outstanding coaches, it makes it hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, there's. There's not. A, I don't know if there's ever been another league ever that had 60 percent of their coaches have coached in the Final Four. That's uh, that's extreme. That's extremely impressive. And of course, you know, a few of those guys have actually won a national championship. I Tubby reminds me that uh, <laughs> virtually every time I see him. So I know he's won one. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. You're welcome. Your next question comes from Gary and Amig, Coastal World. Bob, you think with uh, Marcus Smart returning to Oklahoma State that, uh, that we can foresee someone sort of breaking through and, and ending the <laughs> you strangle old on the conference? That a lot of people think that might automatically give OSU a, a bit of a leg up heading in. What's your take on that? Well, I, I thought he was absolutely terrific. I mean, uh, I don't know that we've played against somebody who controlled the game from the point guard position like he did since uh, probably as it since then we played against Jason Kidd. Um, he just, he totally controls the game and he's got such a great will. And yeah, I mean, I think, I think uh, Oklahoma State's extremely talented. Is it good enough to be your number one going in or is it really to ask that question? <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, I have a hard enough time trying to figure out what we're doing. So I, I don't, I don't, I guess the older I get, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to what everybody else is recruiting or anything. I'll have to take a look at that, I think, before I can make a semi-intelligent, give you a semi-intelligent answer. Fair enough. Thanks, Bob. Bob, looks like that's all of our time for today. I appreciate you calling in. Oh, uh, no, God. Time's out. Time is out. Okay. I'm going back to fishing. Is that all right? Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Bye.